Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing how to get the ender portal block. So the first thing you need is the structure blocks. So how you get it is slash give, and then yourself, and then structure, and then underscore, and then block. And you could do 64 or any really amount. You just need it, and you have to be creative. The next thing um, you need is uh, end portal and I have ender. So the next thing you're gonna do is just go and format an area for where your portal should be. This is mine. Now I'm just gonna go and place it. And I'm gonna place it in this type of order. So it should work. Now I'm going to go here and do the other sides. And now that we've done that, I'm going to put the IF Ender. And it should make a portal once all um, eyes are filled. Yes, like that. Then just put an Ender portal there or whatever block you have. And then just go put that block right there your structure block, then go to the size, put one, one for the other, and one for the other. The offset, you could just keep it as normal, and then name your thing. I will have ender portal, and then save, it should be save, and then save, structure saved. Once you've gotten that, you could go into the end and just fly out. Or if you're in a box, just dig out and then kill the Ender Dragon. You could kill it manually if you're in survival. Otherwise, um, you could just use slash kill. And it's dead. Also, um, the portal will open right here. And the next thing, once you've saved your thing, is you have to go, make some space, take your end portal, put it like this, your block, oops, and then delete your end portal, then go here and write end portal, and then go load, and wait, and then once you've done that, you should be able to go change your stuff. So I'll just change it to one. And for some reason I can't load it. I'm gonna load it in a higher place. And now I'm gonna go load mode and end portal. For some reason it's not loading. I think you could only do Mm, it with the other um, gateways so I'm gonna go test it with the gateway right now so you go to the gateway do your structure name but do it after then I'm just gonna go like this this and this and then I'm gonna name it and block this time I'll save it now we'll get out I'll keep that block there, and then I'll just cover it up, and then after you did that, then just make some tiny space, and then place your block, then go here, and then end block, load, and then load, and there's your end block or whatever you wanted to name it and it'll just pop up right here and it's just like an end portal also you could do with this with many variations so you could do like many end portal blocks like wait I'll just make a square for example load and load Also, make sure you put the end block in the name, otherwise it most likely wouldn't work, 
or whatever y you named it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go test some more. So we could have a full square, and this is quite a lot. It's not the full square, but it's pretty good. And with this, you could make many types of your own custom portals. And in survival, you can't really do this because you don't have structure blocks. But if you could do commands, then you should be able to do it. Otherwise, you can't really do it because this requires commands to get the block. And the dragon, you could defeat. But getting the portal and breaking bedrock, you can do in survival, but you can't get the block, the structure block. At least, I don't think so. So, we're just gonna make a full square, and then let's see how it looks. Also, these beams might come, but they come because this is not the normal block. It's actually um, one of those portals. I think it's called a gateway. And you're supposed to go in it. Also, the ender portal mm, in the overworld, it also works. Actually, it doesn't work. I don't think so in the overworld. But it might work in the end. I could test it. And I'm going to after I finish this circle. I'm going to load it here. And it'll go under your um, end block. So the end block will go under the structure block. And then that's how it'll spawn. And here's our full circle. Let's see it after we delete these. That looks pretty good. You could also make custom portals with this. Just as I said, you could do like structure block portal. This works and it'll look a lot like a portal since there's um, an opening to it and there's a whole dimension in there so it's pretty cool and you could use it um, and it'll look very cool so you could make custom stuff in your world and they'll look really cool just like this one right here now if I go in this should work yeah it does and it teleports you from this gateway over here. I don't think this is, is this the one connected to the, I think they have their own. Nope, it actually, um, these portals will take you to there, that one. And I don't think you could copy the end portal portal, but you can copy the gateways. And definitely the dragon egg. At least I think so. And probably bedrock too. There's many blocks you could copy. I'm not sure about the nether portal since I've never tried it, but I'm just gonna spawn the block right here and check if it'll work in the overworld. And block. And you could have any name for it and it'll be fine. Let me test it. And it's just a beacon. It's a fake beacon. It doesn't not work. Also, I think you could also, wait, let me try to make a beacon under this. It should work and have another beam under it. Oh, also, if you want to make like a beacon under this, you should probably put um, purple stained glass with the beacon so it'll look good. I'll use netherite blocks, I guess. That's a bit netherish, but it's okay. And then just get your beacon out. Also, the beacon will be blue naturally, so yeah, you can't really do anything about that. Also, I don't think it'll work because there's no opening for it. Or maybe it'll go through the end portal block. Let me check really quickly. Oh, yep, it actually works. And you'll just put purple stained glass right here. Wait for it. Did it work? Yeah, it works. You can make whole gateways with this block. And the next thing, just patch it up. 
So beacons can go through this block since I think it's just a gateway. And a gateway has a beacon through it, basically. And yeah. So this is a really cool way of making um, dimensions and other things like your own custom gateway. This looks really cool to me. And I'm not sure about you, but you could definitely use these for your builds. Anyways, that's it for today's video, so bye.